Today's November 3rd. Pastor is saying to us, pride yourself in his ability. Our opening scripture comes from the book of John chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. The Lord said, without me ye can do nothing. By your own human ability, ingenuity, wisdom, skills, and competence, you can't achieve anything. Therefore, never pride yourself in your seeming human abilities. Trust in the Lord. Your success is wholly dependent on your connection to the Lord. Your competence is of Him. Read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 of the Amplified Classic. No wonder Paul made his boast in the Lord, saying, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. He didn't say, I can do all things because I'm so knowledgeable. No, it's about Christ and who he is in you, his ministry in and through you. It brings to mind the story of Asa in 2 Chronicles chapter 14. The Bible tells us Judah was invaded by an army of a million men and 300 chariots. King Asa and his army were completely outnumbered. Asa realized that the only way to victory was to completely rely on the Lord. In 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11, Asa cried unto the Lord his God in heartful prayers and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God. Let no man prevail against thee. The Lord responded and gave Judah a remarkable victory. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 12. Now, here's something to notice about Asa. He didn't sit idly by thinking, Whatever will be, will be. He took action. Your step of faith is important. Having prayed, Asa and his army charged against the enemy's forces and got the victory. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your divine power that works in me mightily. I'm excellent and I have an excellent life. I can do all things because the power that works in me is divine and therefore unlimited. Blessed be your name forever. Amen. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, Colossians chapter 1, verses 10 to 11, and Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 3 and Jeremiah chapters 38 to 40. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, and Ezekiel chapter 34. Rhapsody of reality.